Here we go. All righty, well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to our first uh, Chamber Cafe of 2023. Happy New Year to everyone. I hope you had a fantastic holiday season and are starting the new year off right. A lot of exciting things going on in Fergus Falls and you are uh, privy to that information today. You're gonna get it firsthand straight from the source. So we are excited to share some of this great news and fun things that are going on in and around Fergus Falls directly with you today here on Chamber Cafe. I'm Lisa Workman. I'm the president of the Fergus Falls Area Chamber of Commerce uh, broadcasting live from our smart room, which wasn't so smart this morning. So anyhow, thanks for bearing with us with our technical challenges. Um, we host Chamber Cafe six times a year. It's every other month. Uh, it, during the winter time, we are going to be virtual. And then starting in May, we will be in person and live, and there will be some breakfast. Um, today, uh, since we don't have breakfast, we will do a drawing. We'll have a little guessing contest at the end, and we're going to give away some Fergus Bucks so that you can treat yourself to coffee or breakfast at one of our great chamber member businesses. Uh, but so stay tuned for that, and you do need to be present to win because it'll be a guessing game. So that'll wrap up things on the end. Um, just so you're aware of how we run Chamber Cafe in the virtual version is that we have a list of speakers. They will get up to three minutes to speak. When it's two and a half minutes, I'll flag my, wave my yellow flag. And at three minutes, red flag comes on. So pay attention to those. And you know the, we, uh, we just want to keep things moving right along and be able to share a lot of great information with you in a short period of time. But before we get started with our guests, there is a little bit of chamber information that I'd like to share with you. Um, we are right now um, in the, the rolling into our battle of the businesses season. Uh, battle of the businesses is the chamber's annual bowling tournament. Now you might think, what does that have to do with the chamber? Well, it's a fun way to do some team building, to get together with your coworkers, to send your staff, to get together with friends, and have just a fun day of bowling amongst other businesses in the community. So we have room for six, 60 teams, six zero teams on Saturday, February 11th. That is what, what I call Super Bowl Saturday, but I don't think I can say that because I'm pretty sure that's trademarked, but too bad, I just said it. So anyhow, that's on Saturday, February 11th at Northern Air Lanes. And you can sign up for it with a team of four people of, uh, for at 1245, you can bowl at three o'clock or at five o'clock. So it's a lot of fun. We give away a lot of prizes. Um, just a great event to get together and, you know, see people in the community, have some fun. And by the way, you don't have to be a good bowler. It's a good idea if you know which direction to roll the ball. But other than that, you don't need to be a good bowler. It's, it's just a lot of fun. And then, um, the other thing I want to point out too is we are bowling at the beach this year. We have a theme every year and this year's theme is bowling at the beach. So we're going to be encouraging folks to dress in their favorite beach attire. So it might be February in Minnesota, but we're going to pretend like we're on the beach. So if you have any questions on that, of course, check out our website. You can get in touch with us here at the chamber. We'd be happy to have you and your team come to bowling at the beach. And if you don't wanna participate as a bowler, we are collecting door prizes and gift certificates and gift cards and Fergus Bucks to give away. Um, that's one of the ways that we make the event really fun is that most of the time people, or at least somebody on every team goes home with a prize. So that's our Battle of the Businesses Bowling Tournament, the 30th annual on Saturday, February 11th. Then I also wanna bring up one other thing too that uh, we are rolling out this year uh, some brand new membership levels. So we can't see all the details here, but I wanted to let you to be the first, some of the first to know that we have some great options available. Now we have learned that over the years, uh, everybody, not everybody wants the same thing about being a part of the chamber. And so now we offer five different levels that you can choose from uh, based on what fits your organization the best. And so if you would like more information to set up a time to meet with me or to meet with Paul Sit Hicks, who is uh, takes care of member services, feel free to get in touch with us and uh, we will set up an appointment and review all those options with you. So those are new for 2023. 
And speaking of uh, members and new levels, I would like to uh, get started with our speakers. We're going to start off with uh, Jackie Formo with Mid Minnesota Federal Credit Union. They are one of our Spotlight Level members. And so, so new members, Spotlight Level. And you may have noticed they've got a big, uh, brand new building right here in Fergus Falls. So we're going to start with our speakers. I've got my timer ready. I've got my flags ready. Do I need anything else? No, I don't think so. All righty. So Jackie, you are ready to roll and welcome back, back to the chamber. I don't know. Welcome to the first chamber cafe in a while. Take it over. Well, thank you, Lisa. It's certainly nice to be back in Fergus Falls. It's been a long couple of years of traveling amongst different locations and different financial institutions. So it's nice to be hunkered down and have a home branch. So having said that, you may have seen our building being built over by Aldi's and Fleet Farm. Well, I'm proud to say it's officially complete. So we are fully staffed. We've got full service opportunities for you and your friends and family. Um, we've got a long week of celebration coming up at the end of February, So, or excuse me, the end of January. So as you all may know, um, being a part of the chamber, I do love celebrations previously. So we're going to keep it all week. We're going to keep rocking all week for our members and community. So it'll be starting Monday, January 30th through February 3rd. We've got some great uh, appetizers and different things that we'll be providing for you as you come in and check us out. Um, of course, by the American Legion. And of course, Penny Cakes, one of our dear friends over there. So having said that, we've got some great specials that we're going to be offering this week. So my fellow competitors, listen on up, right? Um, we want to welcome you in too, because we know you've got great things to offer as well. So having said that, this that week of our grand opening, we'll be having a four-month CD at 10% APY, max of a $1,000 deposit. We're also going to have a $100 incentive to come in and open a checking account with us. We understand you might be happy where you're at, and that's just fine too. Our recreational loans, we're going to have a special for 90 days. And our mortgages, we're going to give $500 off your closing costs. So we've got some incredible rates and different things that we can offer to our members here at Mid-Minnesota Federal Credit Union. And I will tell you that a few of the things that I'm really um, proud and excited to be a part of, of Mid-Minnesota is their values. So right away from the start, they had me from the get-go. Um, and I loved the fact that with our team, we're really able to be community-focused. So they give back to our local communities. We've already been out in the community um, donating to nonprofits, which is also very exciting. That leads me to the next thing. So um, January 30th through February 3rd, you can stop in and nominate a local nonprofit for a cash uh, donation. So if you have a nonprofit that you are very uh, particular to, that's a great opportunity for you to swing in so we can help, hopefully that's the one we get to contribute to. So nonetheless, Fergus Falls has been more than welcoming to us. It's been steady, um, quite busy, frankly, and we're loving it. So swing in Monday through Friday, uh, drive up is 7.30 to 5.30, and our lobby is 8.30 to 5. So we look forward to seeing you here at Minmin. Thanks, Lisa. Yep. Thanks. Well, thanks, Jackie. She's under the time even. Way to go. Awesome. Boy, all these little pieces of things that I have to take care of when it comes to online version. All right. Well, thanks, Jackie. Well, coming up next, we'll hear from uh, Senator, Senator Jordan Rasmussen, and he will be followed by Victoria McQueen Creek and then Aaron Larson. So Senator Rasmussen, please, we'd love to hear from you. And by the way, he's in session, so we appreciate the time. Thank you, Lisa. It's great to be with everyone this morning. Um, for those who don't know me, my name is Jordan Rasmussen, and I'm uh, honored to represent the Fergus Falls area down in the state Senate. We just started our legislative session last week, and I'm happy to say that we actually passed our first bill off the Senate floor yesterday that I was happy to support, which will send tax conformity to the governor's desk. And I know for a lot of small businesses, um, individuals, tax preparers out there, accountants, this is a really big deal to get this done early in session before, uh, you know, everyone has completed and filed their taxes so we don't have to go back and do a bunch of uh, amendments and returns and just want to say that 
the uh, Minnesota Chamber of Commerce worked very closely with us um, and local chambers to make sure that we got that done early in session. A couple of the you know, key issues that we'll be working on over the course of the coming months um, that I think just want everyone to be aware of is there will be proposals on paid family leave coming before the legislature. There's a few different proposals. Um, the one that I've drafted and, and authored and put forward would um, give all businesses, all employers, an option of how they want to structure paid family leave and how they want to offer it. Um, there's another version that's coming through the legislature that would effectively be a billion dollar payroll tax and would be a mandate on employers. Um, and I'm a, opposed to that kind of approach. I think we should offer flexibility for employers. And the bill that I have also would um, offer tax credits to small businesses, uh, those with 50 or fewer employees who want to offer paid family leave to their uh, employees. Uh, I'll also just mention quickly the committees that I've been appointed to uh, for this session. I'll be on the Commerce Committee, which deals with all sorts of business regulations. I'll also be on Capital Investment, which is charged with putting together a bonding bill for state infrastructure. And then I will be on the Human Services Committee, which oversees everything from child care to long-term care, mental health, everything in between. And then last, um, I'll be on the Pension Commission, which um, oversees all pension legislation for uh, public employees. So if there's any issues, feedback, input that you have for me, don't hesitate to reach out to my office. We love to uh, hear from folks as the session moves quickly. So thank you, Lisa, for having me. Thank you, Jordan. We definitely appreciate all the hard work that you're doing. It, it will be a challenging year and we're, we're happy that you're serving us here in the 8th District. Uh, coming up next, we've got Victoria McWayne Creek. She'll be followed by Aaron Larson and then Josh Ice. So Victoria. Thank you. I am so thrilled to be with you all this year. Um, as a new member of the chamber, um, we've been in business um, at Organization for Full Participation for a couple of years though, um, formally. And I've been doing this work of organizational effectiveness and efficiency um, by building inclusive cultures and, and climates for probably about 15 years. Um, so in 2021, I did found this business in order to focus exclusively on this work. And I wanna be your local partner when it comes to justice, equity, diversity, inclusion, and access. At Organization for Full Participation, we value identity, intersectionality, inclusion, and intentionality, hence the number four in our name. Um, what we do does not come out of a box because each entity is different, and we pride ourselves on identifying your challenges quickly and designing strategies to address them, always keeping top of mind your business's need for minimal disruption. And we've been doing this um, and we know the landscape, we know JEDI, and we understand the needs of our rural community. Um, as organizations engage in these DEI efforts, they often struggle with not only knowing where to begin, but also how to manage change, the same process, and to get meaningful results. And that's where we come in. We use proven performance improvement approaches and shared learning experiences that support creative collaboration, data-driven assessment, courageous leadership, trust building, and adapting to differences. And our approaches make us a valuable partner in your journey toward long-term, measurably equitable outcomes. Um, I have a very small team uh, em employing two individuals here. So there are three of us, including myself, and we are here to support your equitable solutions um, and make sure that we help you analyze and assess what is going on and support your strategic improvements so that you get the most um, success with the least amount of disruption. And really, that is what I have to say today. I don't know how long I took, but I really wanted to just let you know that I am here to serve our community. And I have been doing this work in the region for quite some time. And I look forward to working with community partners in Fergus. Thank you. Thank you so much, Victoria. Yeah, everybody's right on time this morning. So this is uh, fantastic and such a great way to get a lot of information. We're going to hear next from Aaron Larson. 
Larson with the West Otter Tail Soil and Water Conservation District. Josh Ice with Home Instead will be following him. And then Alyssa Onrood with Surf Pro will be next. So take it away, Aaron. Thank you. Uh, morning, everybody. Uh, my name's Aaron Larson. I'm the uh, district manager for the West Otter Tail Soil and Water Conservation District uh, located here in Fergus Falls. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with what uh, a soil and water conservation district is, uh, we're a, a local unit of government uh, that's a subset of uh, state government. Uh, and we're supervised by a board of elected officials. So um, we're typically those guys on the back of the ballot, um, you know, that uh, right next to school board and stuff like that. Um, but what, what we focus on, um, you know, right there kind of in our name, Soil and Water Conservation Districts, uh, they were formed, you know, during the Dust Bowl. Uh, so our main focus is, uh, you know, working with, with landowners uh, to implement uh, what we call best management practices or conservation practices. Um, so we address uh, agricultural field erosion, wind erosion, um, you know, big push right now going on in the state, uh, soil health practices, which is cover crops and, and uh, you know, keeping our soil in place and intact. Um, we also do a lot of work with uh, small uh, private residents, uh, most specifically on uh, shoreline restorations. Um, we do a lot of design work uh, and stuff like that. So, you know, some of the work that you may be familiar with that you've seen around town that we've assisted with, with designing um, would be um, out at Adams Park there, the, the wildflower planting on Grotto Lake. Um, we worked with Outstate Brewing. Um, we worked with West Central Initiative. Uh, they planted about an acre's worth of prairie behind their building. Um, some of the plantings on Lake Alice with the city and, and behind City Hall. Um, and some of the typical shoreline uh, plantings that, that we've done. Um, you know, we also offer financial assistance. So we get uh, state, state money and state grants that we can turn around and provide uh, financial assistance to landowners to install conservation practices. Um, you know, they do have to meet our standards and, and stuff like that. So, um, you know, and, and uh, where I'll kind of leave it at the end is, you know, we do all the design work and offer the financial assistance, um, but we're always looking for contractors to do the work. So we don't necessarily do those types of projects. We design them, we offer the financial assistance and then turn around and hope the landowners hire local contractors. Uh, but one last thing, uh, we do uh, sell, uh, you know, trees and native grass seed. Um, so we have our tree sales going on right now. Uh, you can find more information on those um, either on our website or our Facebook page. Um, but you know they're all geared towards conservation, so uh, they're typically bare root stock, and uh, we sell those to um, you know anybody that wants to buy trees, and um, that runs till about April every year. So, thank you. Well, thank you so much, Aaron. I know the uh, we've got neighbors that have had some shoreline shoreline management work done, and our family we purchase trees and plant trees every year, and I I think we're feeding the deer because the deer eat the trees. So every year it's seventy five to one hundred and fifty trees. So I encourage you to get out and plant a tree, everybody. See how many people can do that uh, this year. Thanks, Aaron. Well, up next is Josh Ice with Home Instead. Followed by Alyssa Onrood with Serve Pro, and then Kathy Wagner will follow uh, Alyssa. So, if you are ready, Josh, we would love to hear from you. Thanks, Lisa. Yeah, uh, nice to see you guys. If you guys haven't, if I haven't been able to meet you, or Josh Weiss and my wife Kim, we uh, own Home Instead here in Fergus Falls, and we service all over Ottertail County. So. One little quick note is we actually have been in business now for a little over a year. So end of December was our, our first year. So we're super excited. We survived one year, learned a lot, um, got to meet a ton of just fabulous people, not only business owners, people in our communities that we work in, clients, caregivers, um, et cetera. So we're, 
we're super excited to be back. A uh, little quick side note, we're originally from Wadena, came back to the lakes area. So um, we love it over here with all the lakes. Although they are a challenge to get to clients, um, homes, you know, you, you think you get a call and you're like, oh, that won't be too long. And you look on the map, and you're like, holy cow, Otter Tail Lake's in my way. And during the winter, I suppose I could take my truck across it and maybe survive, but um, we just love getting around. And it's such a beautiful area too, to um, get out. And I love getting out, um, meeting with people and seeing the, the beautiful area that uh, we're able to work in here. So looking forward to meeting a, a ton of you guys too here in the upcoming year. So if you guys have questions, definitely give us give us a shout, uh, we can help out. So just a couple quick things I wanted to mention, uh, more on the client side. So clients that we serve, so we're doing basically non-medical service to seniors in their home. So kind of what a lot of that is, um, you know, helping them do light housekeeping. Um, one big one that I always hear is, uh, you know, it's hard to get down and scrub my floors. So that's something that we can help um, uh, our seniors is just helping them scrub the floors or things that are just a little bit tougher for them to do as they age. Um, we, we love to just help them and just to be a, a, a part of our service. So another example would be, you know, sometimes those stacked wash machines, you know, the, the one on the top is, you know, it gets tough to get stuff in and out of that too. So, you know, helping them do that. Another big thing that we are able to do is uh, do transportation with our clients. So whether that be to take them to a doctor's appointment, um, maybe run some errands, groceries, and, and then here in the winter, just getting out of the house. You know, we just get those times where it's a long, you know, spell of, you know, our winter and we get that, um, yeah, that seasonal effect, you know, so maybe going out for coffee, go grab a, uh, a lunch or just kind of going for a drive. We've got a couple of caregivers that just love to do that too, take our, our clients out for drives. Um, but then we kind of run the, the mill. We do get a little bit into the nursing side of it. We do have a nurse on staff and um, we can get into that a little bit. We just don't get... Um, too involved. So love to meet with people and then just to have, you know, set, set a program up for them um, on that. On the caregiver side, we're always hiring. So if you if you know of anybody that's looking to um, help seniors and just love um, caring for folks like that, we'd love to talk to them. And part of that is just, you know, and we have part-time hours, you know, it could be a couple hours a day, a couple hours a week, all the way up to um, a few more hours um, that they're looking to do. So we're just working with them. So I saw the yellow flag and, I, and then you kind of get that nervousness of like, you got to wrap this up. So again, Josh Ice from Homestead here in Fergus. If you guys got questions, would love to talk to you and, and meet with you guys. Thanks, Lisa. Thanks so much, Josh. Yeah, we love having you guys uh, in the Fergus Falls area. Welcome back to the Lakes area. And uh, Homestead, they've got an office right downtown Fergus Falls. So right on Lincoln Avenue and Mill, no, Cascade. All righty, well, all right, let's hear from Melissa Onerud with Serve Pro next, then Kathy Wagnold, and then Team Halverson will come up after Kathy. Thanks, Lisa, you even got my last name right, that's pretty good. Um, so I'm Melissa Onerud with a marketing specialist with Serve Pro Cleaning and Restoration and Construction. Um, starting with some background on Serve Pro, we are a locally owned franchise with our main facility in Alexandria. We are Serve Pro of Douglas and Ottertail counties, servicing the entire Fergus Falls area and surrounding communities. We also have a location in Fargo, Serve Pro Fargo Moorhead, and serve the surrounding communities of Fargo, West Fargo, and Moorhead. At Serve Pro, we are a fire and water cleanup and restoration specialist. We are a trusted leader in the restoration industry and have highly trained certified technicians to handle the damage. We can provide assistance to both commercial and residential properties should an emergency occur. Water damage can occur from a variety of different sources. This can include burst plumbing due to, to freezing or mechanical failure to appliances such as refrigerator, dishwasher, washing machines. Can also occur due to toilet overflow, sump pump failures, and sewer backups. We have the proper equipment to handle any type of water damage and to ensure proper drying, whether it's a residential or commercial property. Once the property has been completely dried and or the applicable demo is complete, we also can handle any repairs to the property, which may be necessary. We can replace damaged flooring, cabinetry, doors, trim, drywall and painting, along with any plumbing, 
electrical or HVAC needs. Like our company slogan states, we can make it like it never even happened. Furthermore, we also handle an array of services, including mold remediation, biohazard and vandalism cleanup, cleaning and carpet cleaning. Again, we can address these types of damages in either residential or commercial properties. Once again, thanks, Alyssa. Let's serve pro. Thank you so much, Alyssa. And I know uh, Team Serve Pro has already signed up a couple teams for the Battle of the Businesses bowling tournament too. So we look forward to seeing you guys at that. And again, you can check out our website if you want to sign up your team or, or even if you want to volunteer, get in touch with us at the chamber. We can give folks a fun job for that. So thanks, Alyssa. All righty, up next is Kathy Wagonald. It's never too early to talk about beer. And then following Kathy will be uh, Aaron and Randy Halverson and then Kevin Swenson. Hi, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Kathy Wagnall, one of the co-owners of Fergus Brewing Company. Um, Fergus Brewing Company has been serving award-winning beer along the Otter Tail River since 2019. Our space really shines in the warmer months when activity can spill out onto our deck that overlooks the river and into our spacious beer garden but our bright and inviting tap room is open year round. However, like the sun, our open hours are scarce in the winter. So I'm here to remind everyone that our space is an affordable and accommodating location for events of all kinds, work or family parties, weddings, wakes, team dinners, nonprofit fundraisers, and graduations. You can visit our website, fergusbrewing.com slash group dash accommodations for more info on renting and using our space. Um, some new things that are happening at Fergus Brewing. We recently hired a distributor and he's getting our beer out into local venues, liquor stores and restaurants. We now have 16 ounce cans available, no more of the 25 ounce crowlers. You can get 16 ounce cans, more convenient, easier drinking, I think. Um, we're working on some interesting partnerships with local restaurants, so stay tuned for some information on what's going on there. Um, we always try to help out in the community as much as we can. We've worked with several nonprofits. Um, we've done fundraisers for the Humane Society and for a group called Friends and Allies, and that group works to help get um, Afghan people from Afghanistan out who worked with the, um, our um, armed forces during those wars. Um, we actually have a chili feed coming up um, in March, which will invite nonprofits to come in and it will be a way for them to raise some money and raise awareness of their existence in the community. So stay tuned for information on that happening. Um, we always like to partner with local businesses. Um, so we're looking to increase that and to develop those partnerships more, improve and build on that that kind of stuff. Um, mainly, we're just a fun place to come. We've got great beer. Um, we've got lots of board games. So come and spend an evening in our comfy tap room. You can enjoy our postman's breakfast stout. That's one of our most popular beers in the in the deep dark winter time. Um, but we also have the postman's vacation stout coming out soon, which is a coconut version of that. But my favorite right now is the leisure suit. It's a Mexican style lager and it pairs great with the Oli and Lena's pizza that we also serve at the brewery. So come and have some fun. Thanks. Well, th thanks, Kathy. It's a great reminder. I'm so glad you brought up that you have a, a, a space that folks can use because we get a lot of calls at the chamber of folks looking for spaces to have meetings and events and activities. And we appreciate the fact that as a local business, you open your space for folks to use and uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's important to remember that we'll open when we aren't open. So it's, it's not only for use during our open hours. We open specially for people too. So keep that in mind. Fantastic. Like I said, it's never too early to talk about beer. So, <laughs> all right. Thanks so much, Kathy. All right. Up next, we've got Aaron and Randy Halverson, and then we'll hear from uh, Kevin Sweb, Kevin Svens and Svenny from uh, Pebble Lake Golf Club. And then Patricia Wall with Greater Fergus Falls. Well, good morning. Uh, coming good morning. to you live from the Halverson living room, guys, in Fergus Falls. Um, so Randy and I uh, own Lakeshore Services, which is 
uh, mostly a hardscape landscaping company. Um, lots of rocks and blocks, we like to say. So a um, lot of shoreline riprap, shoreline repair. So Aaron Larson will be connecting with you. Um, and we also do a lot of paver patios, retaining walls, um, things like that. So right now we're not super, super busy with that. And, um, but we typically are. So we thought apparently we weren't busy enough. So we were going to start a startup during the pandemic. And so uh, we launched Protection Pros Disinfecting Services. And people are like, what the heck is that? Um, we provide a disinfecting solution that continuously disinfects for up to 90 days. So all of your surfaces are protected. Um, the cool thing is the solution is completely water-based and food safe. It was invented over 30 years ago for food production equipment, and um, we use it today uh, to help fight germs on surfaces. So uh, one of our awesome clients in town is um, Otter Cove Children's Museum. So for those of you who have ever been there or had your children there, uh, relatives there, uh, those kids are super, super protected. Um, one of the things we do is bacteria testing. So we go in, we will bacteria test before we treat. We bacteria test again 30 days after we treat. And uh, just to let you know, um, Otter Cove could actually serve food off of their slides 30 days after we have disinfected. So we know that it's working. We know that it's protecting people. This is a year round thing. I know we focus a lot more in the winter because everyone's getting sick indoors. Um, people have employees out. We can help prevent that. We come in, we treat, you have no downtime. That's the other great bonus for businesses. Um, there is zero downtime. We come in, it's basically like a fog. Uh, it's dry in less than 10 minutes. So you basically step out of your office, we treat, you step back in and you can go right back to work. So uh, no downtime for you either. Uh, we would love to connect with businesses. This is mostly uh, a commercial business treatment process, although we will treat residential locations as well. Um, but we love to just get to know more business owners in our community. We're also very passionate about helping other business owners uh, grow and connect. So please, please, please reach out. We would love to connect with you on either of our business businesses. Thanks so much, Lisa. Thank you. Well, thanks guys. And so glad you guys launched that uh, new business with Protection Pros again. As small businesses, especially, we're always looking at ways that we can keep our employees safe, keep them healthy. And uh, you know, there's there's nothing worse than when that wave of the crud goes through your office and everybody's home and feeling cruddy for a few days. We'd, we'd rather take that time and go on vacation. So again, protection pros, disinfecting service. Love, I love the connection too. You know, you guys were talking about Lakeshore services and working with Aaron with West Otter Tail Soil and Water. Like, see, we can still make awesome virtual connections right here at Chamber Cafe. So so glad, so glad you're so glad you're all joining me for breakfast this morning, or at least coffee. All righty. Well, let's talk about golf next. Kevin Swenson is joining us, and he'll be followed by Patricia Wall and then Katie Johnson with Lake Region Healthcare. So, Kevin, let's talk about golf. You bet. What better time to talk about golf than January when it's snowing out? I'm actually leaving the, after I'm done talking. I got to go to the golf course because we're having. 40 brand new golf carts delivered today and tomorrow. So we're going to have those back. Everybody, anybody that's been out to the golf course that's enjoyed those carts that we've had have the updated GPS, Bluetooth, um, premium seating. The new ones will have windshields on them. So you can golf all the way to the end of October like we've done the last two seasons. Um, for anybody that doesn't know me, my name is Kevin Swenson. I'm the director of golf at Pebble Lake Golf Club. I'm going into my eighth season out there. Uh, some quick numbers, uh, the last two seasons after we went through the COVID year have been very strong for the golf industry. We've seen, uh, lots of new faces, new, uh, members, families, uh, Pebble Lake is very youth oriented and I'm very proud of the fact that my kids camp is six weeks in the summer and I have average over 110 kids every summer. So, uh, that's one of the favorite parts of my job, uh, Pebble Lake offers 18 holes of, of uh, championship golf with uh, full service practice facilities, um, five sets of tees uh, that accommodates any skill level. Uh, the beauty of Pebble Lake is that it's very accommodating 
uh, friendly, welcoming, and we want everybody to come out and see how beautiful it is out there. And uh, with the uh, welcoming of Palmer's Kitchen and Bar last season to our uh, facility, they offer full service restaurant with uh, anybody that's been out there. The food is outstanding, uh, great service, friendly staff, uh, professionally run, and uh, we have a beautiful deck that faces the west sunset at the evening and uh, lots of room inside. We accommodate um, numerous golf tournaments, golf outings, corporate outings. Uh, Jen offers her services for weddings, large gatherings, and uh, Palmer's offers the facility inside for birthday parties and uh, graduation, stuff like that, that uh, we just offer all these different uh, avenues for to get your groups out there as well. So. Uh, nothing better than being outside to have your group outing than uh, being stuck inside in the winter. So uh, my, me and myself and my staff are definitely on enjoying the off season because uh, the spring is coming very fast. And a reminder of that is, is uh, the amount of time I spend in my office this time of year setting up events and uh, the new cards coming the next couple of days. And uh, by the time we hit February in, in a couple of weeks, we're going to be uh, ready to rock and roll with a going through a new POS system upgrade currently, which is a huge undertaking and uh, not easy, but it's, it's gonna be fantastic for the membership and our guests to, uh, to come and visit. For anybody that doesn't know who uses the golf course and whatnot, the last two seasons, we've had over 55,000 rounds played at Pebble Lake, which is, uh, it's a big number for a rural, small rural golf course like us. So uh, we're very proud of the fact that a lot of people enjoy our facility. And uh, one of the best things that uh, happened to us this year was Pebble Lake was voted Otter Tail's best uh, golf venue facility in the Otter Tail County area, which was voted on by over 47,000 people. So thank you to all of you that uh, do come and visit us. And for all of you that haven't, I am sending out a virtual, please come and visit us at Pebble Lake and, uh, Enjoy the facilities, enjoy the golf, enjoy the restaurant, sit on the deck, have a glass of wine, watch the sunset, and uh, I hope to see you all in the next few months. Thanks, Lisa. Thanks. You bet. Thanks so much, Kevin. It is fun to think about golf. Like you said, it's January, but you know we can look ahead. Let's enjoy the winter that, that we have and uh, then get out and enjoy the golf course this summer. And Pebble Lake Golf Club has been a great <clears throat> partner for the Chamber for so many years. Uh, we'll host our annual fundraiser tournament in August on Friday, August 11th. And this year, again, plan ahead, folks. We got, we're going with the Wild West theme coming up uh, this year for our golf tournament. So thanks so much, Kevin, and what a great asset for our community. All right, let's hear from uh, Patricia Wall with Greater Fergus Falls. She'll be followed by Katie Johnson and then Michelle with Someplace Safe. Good morning, everyone. Um, as Lisa said, I am Patricia Wall, and I am here to talk about Greater Fergus Falls and the Foundry. Um, some of you are probably asking yourself, what actually is the Foundry? Well, the Foundry is our version of a hybrid entrepreneurial center that ties co-working, startup accelerator, education, and pop-up retail into one central location. The Foundry offers 24 seven access and affordable space with low overhead to remote workers, consultants, traveling professionals, as well as entrepreneurs and startups of all kinds. Thanks to local and regional sponsors like um, Park Region, Stumbinos and Marco, we are able to increase access to high-speed internet, business coaching and technical assistance all while providing free printing, copying and scanning services, and free coffee. We can't forget about the coffee. Um, our goal at the Foundry is to create a hub of economic activity that is centrally located, but not just in Fergus Falls um, throughout the West Central area. So think about it. Um, we're an hour away from Moorhead, Morris, Wadena, Perm, Alec, um, we're just a bit further, uh, well, and just a bit further um, to St. Cloud. By paving a path for 
modern co-working and expanding access to quality and in-demand resources, we can better support rural entrepreneurs. Um, we believe with the creation of the foundry, um, that's going to foster long-term business longevity. Um, in 2020, Minnesota was ranked number one in the nation for having the five uh, well, the best five-year businesses uh, survival rate for startups. And in 2021, um, Greater Fergus Falls was ranked the top five, in the top five. Um, we opened our co-working space in mid-October. Uh, so now, literally almost three months later, I'm proud to say that we have currently 68 members. Uh, these numbers increase weekly. Um, our memberships at the Foundry uh, they range from daily drop-in passes to dedicated desk space for those entrepreneurs and remote workers who need more permanent desk space for a few weeks or a few months. Um, with each membership, they, they have many benefits and we provide many amenities such as locker rentals, um, mailbox service, shredding service, and more. Um, we are so happy to to give tours. Um, we do that all the time with random people walking in, uh, wanting to get a tour of a space, and usually they leave with a membership. Um, one more thing, um, I saw my flag, Lisa. We One perk of the Foundry is that we offer pop-up retail rental space. Um, in December, we had 10 local businesses and entrepreneurs go through our pop-up retail space um, just to showcase their, um, their business, their items um, in a retail setting. Um, maybe they don't have that, that uh, brick and mortar and they wanna test the market. <clears throat> you could rent uh, that space to do such things um, as that as well here at the Foundry. So we're located downtown Fergus Falls, 101 West Lincoln Avenue right on the corner next to Mock Jewelers. We're open Monday through Friday. We're always here. Someone's always here to give a tour, to talk to you more about co-working with us. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you so much, Patricia. Yeah, the Foundry, fantastic space and just a nice, uh, yeah, it was just fun to see over the holidays, the uh, different retailers that were there with the pop-up shop and just they get a storefront opportunity to, to continue to grow, grow their business. Um, well, next we're gonna hear from Katie Johnson with Lake Region Healthcare. She'll be followed by Michelle Wendt with Someplace Safe and then Michael Burgraff will be bringing it home. So let's hear it, Katie. Good morning, thanks, Lisa. I'm actually kind of filling in for Laura Gervais this morning from our foundation. She wasn't able to be here, but wanted to extend it to all of the chamber members and the community an invitation to an open house at our cancer center that the foundation is hosting next week. Um, for those of you that maybe haven't been in the community that long or don't know the story of our cancer center, it opened in 2010. Remarkably, it's been open that long and was built entirely with donations from our community. So it's a true example of philanthropy at work and the generosity of of the people who live in this region and have touched so many lives um, since 2010. As um, all things age, we need um, new, new equipment in our cancer center too. And two really big investments have happened in the last year. We installed a new linear accelerator and a new PET CT scanner. Uh, the linear accelerator is a replacement. Um, state of the art, uh, Dr. Mark Cooper is our radiation oncologist. He came to us from Essentia and uh, said even he is impressed with this new linear accelerator and its capabilities. And the PET CT scanner is really exciting because um, we used to offer PET CT only through traveling uh, service. So it was a truck that would come and, and pull up um, next to our facility and, and patients had to go you know, out into that semi to have their PET CT scans done. And now we're able to do that every day of the week and um, do it right here in the cancer center. So those are a couple of the things that you'll be able to see on the tours that we'll be giving at the cancer center. Also be able to meet our fantastic staff, um, just people really called to cancer care and um, you'll be able to feel their warmth when you walk in the door, I guarantee it. 
um, and some exciting new providers joining us. Um, we'll have some information about them. Um, a new um, nurse practitioner, Jessica Engel, is coming to us um, starting this spring. And uh, Dr. Anthony Rooney, a, a medical oncologist, will be joining us this fall. Um, he has local roots uh, from the Morris area, and we're really excited to be welcoming him to our team. You'll also, of course, be able to uh, connect with Steph Polzine and Dr. Mark Cooper and um, some of the other uh, medical oncologists who are um, kind of covering for us until Dr. Rooney joins us. We have um, Dr. Victor, Dr. Ranganwala, and Dr. Gellin um, all on site here um, providing great cancer care um, to the community right here close to home. So the open house is next Wednesday. If you want to mark it on your calendar, it'll be from two o'clock until six o'clock. Stop in anytime. We'll have hot cocoa and coffee and treats and tours. And um, you'll be able to um, make a card for a cancer patient if you'd like to while you're um, sipping some coffee and visiting with the staff. So um, just a nice time to connect, see the cancer center if you never have um, had the opportunity to before, um, meet the team, and of course, uh, see some of those exciting new investments in technology that have happened as well. So I'll put the um, link to the Facebook event uh, in the chat if you'd like to add it to your schedule. Uh, but we hope that you'll have a moment to stop by. Love to see you at the Cancer Center. Thank you so much, Katie. Yeah, it's great, uh, great to see all the positive changes happening with Lake Region Healthcare. And, and you know, it's hard to believe 2010 that it opened. And again, it's when our business community is strong that we can make really critical things happen, like opening up the Lake Region Cancer Center. Because, like as you said, you know, all local donations and contributions and so thank thank you to everyone who's been who's been a part of that and we hope you all get a chance to take a tour I'm sure it's been a while since folks have been on a tour there all right well let's hear from uh, Michelle Wendt next and then we're going to hear from Michael Burgraff don't disappear to uh, before the end though because we're going to do a little contest at the end so Michelle you are on deck here Good morning. My name is Michelle Wendt. I work with the Someplace Safe Advocacy Office in Fergus Falls. Um, I am one of three advocates. Um, I just wanted to mention that this month is January is National Human Trafficking Prevention Month. Someplace Safe has served 91 victims and survivors of human trafficking in the last year. And it's awareness like that that kind of helps us do what we're able to do. Um, today, I really want to talk about our upcoming tea fundraiser. I have shared the poster in the chat. Feel free to glance over that. Um, it is our 20th annual tea fundraiser this year, and we are finally back in person, which a lot of people are super excited for. Yes. Um, so we will be hosting it again at M State in the Legacy Hall in Fergus Falls. It's going to be February, Saturday 18th. It'll start at 10.30 a.m. where you'll be able to start looking at some of the silent auction items, start playing some games. Um, we will be having chicken salad croissant sandwiches with some fruit and a broccoli salad. Um, we will have a bunch of tea, coffee and tea, of course. And um, tickets for this right now run adults $30 and children under 12 are 15. Um, we do have limited amount of tickets. If you aren't connected with a tea hostess um, for the event, we do have limited tickets available at our office. So that is all I want to talk about today. Thank you so much for your guys' time. Thank you, Michelle, for sharing that. Yeah, the Someplace Safe Tea is all, always an event uh, that folks look forward to. And it, it's just amazing when, when these events are coming back um, in person that we can uh, attend them and just a, one of the cherished activities during the winter. And of course, I do want to give a shout out to Someplace Safe because your team is, you always have a group at the Battle of the Businesses Bowling Tournament. And I believe they've got a collection of gutter bobs. They, tr they try super hard, but they've got a great collection of them in the office there. So we love it. That team comes out and has a, has a great time. We're great advocates. Bowlers, that's questionable. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Everyone has fun at that, that event too. So, all righty. Well, speaking of fun, let's hear from Michael Burgraff to share with us some things that are coming up, some entertainment. So if anyone says, 
Now, if you hear anyone who says there's nothing to do around here, tell them they need to connect with us. They need to get on to Chamber Cafe and they need to, you know, stay connected because there are so many things to do. I run out of time before I run out of things to do. So, Michael, what are you going to put on my calendar next? Good morning and happy new year, everyone. Lisa, give me a 30 second verbal warning when it's done, because I'm not sure I'm going to be able to see you. Um, so this weekend we have, have you ever had to make up your mind? The uh, Spoonful of Love is coming in. Uh, that is one of the songs, uh, one of the top hits from Love and Spoonful. Uh, we're doing some tributes coming up and this is one of them. We still have plenty of seats available and we hope that you will be a part of that. That's the uh, Spoonful of Love this Saturday evening at 7.30. On the 20th, we're going to be doing an onstage concert with a group from the cities called Oboe Bass. Yes, they're going to be playing the oboe and the bass. And it's not just classical music, but they do a lot of ragtime and different things as well. Um, all of this, tickets are available by going to our website. And uh, if you want to see what's happening, go to our Facebook page. Speaking of which, we are just short of like 5,000 people who follow us on Facebook. We want to get over that. So uh, if you go on to onto it, like us, become a friend of a Center for the Arts. Uh, July 1st, we are going to do a drawing for everybody who is a friend and uh, give two passes to our great upcoming summer season to one lucky person. That'll be two tickets to the summer shows, all five of them. Uh, on February 11th, we have the James Sewell Ballet coming back. This is the hardest show that I've ever had to uh, get into Fergus Falls or anywhere. Uh, this show was scheduled pre-pandemic. They were canceled twice because of weather. They were out because of the pandemic. They are finally coming, which is why most of the seats are not available, but we do have some left for the James Sewell Ballet, February 11th. Then we have Simon and Simon, the music of Paul and Carly Simon. Uh, done in a gypsy swing kind of way on February 25th. Head Games, which is uh, the music of Foreigner coming in on March 11th. Pavlo, who is an international guitar artist and his band will be here the 18th. He's actually coming in for almost a week to do workshops in town, meet with people and then perform his great Mediterranean music on the 18th of March. Uh, we have Razzle Dazzle coming back again this year. And so uh, the 24th through the 26th of March, to all those community people uh, on stage singing and having fun. We do rentals, so we have the Harmony Choir coming back in. <gasps> on April 15th, we have Daydream Day Believer, which is uh, the music of the monkeys. And it's not only the music of, but it's also uh, kind of a, a informing concert where they'll be talking about some of the history, some of the different things of Daydream Believer. We are having auditions for our children's theater. We can now tell you that in June, we are going to be doing two productions of Schoolhouse Rock, Conjunction Junction, How's That Function? And then in July, we're trying something different. And Kylie Peterson is going to be directing Legally Blonde for students, Legally Blonde Junior. Uh, and then also in July, we start our five big summer tribute bands. And so we are heading to the summer <laughs> and we are looking at doing on the 8th of July, which is a Saturday because the band doesn't perform on Sunday, uh, all, again, all tributes. The first tribute is of Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young. On July 16th, this is back to our Sunday evenings, we have an ABBA tribute. On July 23rd, we have a Garth Brooks tribute. On August 20th, we have a tribute to Queen. And on August 27th, we have a tribute to the Rolling Stones. So a little something for everybody up at the Kirkbride. Uh, our rain site will still be the ice rink this year. If we need to use it, hopefully we won't. We are also getting to an, ready to announce a huge uh, day, in probably the end of June uh, for youth. We are talking to and uh, are negotiating with a Grammy award-winning children's group to perform up at the Kirkbride, uh, probably the end of June. So we're very excited about that. Watch for details. And then the first part of March, we will be announcing next year's season. That is always free and open to the public. A great way to see what's coming up next year in our, our theater itself and a way to get discounts that evening. Always something fun and exciting happening at a Center for the Arts. 
uh, as well as we are working on replacing our boilers. Probably the last thing that hasn't been replaced, our heat is out, but we have, it's still warm at a center. Don't worry about coming to the shows. We, we figured out a way to keep it warm in there. We do between 50 and 70 shows a year. And uh, we, as a matter of fact, we just booked a group yesterday that will be coming in September, a bluegrass band that we're hoping to bring downtown uh, Fergus Falls and just so many wonderful things. Lisa, I actually saw it. Yay, I'm done. Thank you. Happy New Year. Come see us make arts a part of 23. <laughs> well, thanks, Michael. Yeah, I just I love hearing about all the concerts, all the productions and all the excitement that there is. We are, you know, if, you, if, if you've lived in other communities, uh, you'll realize that this is a rare opportunity for us to have such great live performing arts in, the, in a community of our size and what a great draw that is to our community too. Looking forward to all of those concerts coming up for the summer too. Oh, so much fun. Everybody should go out and buy a new, new uh, lawn chair to take out to those concerts. Well, if you want to buy concert tickets, you can use Fergus Bucks and that brings up uh, our end of the show uh, contest for today. We're going to uh, have a little contest to see if you can guess how many Fergus bucks were spent in 2022 or reinvested in the calendar year 2022 in Fergus Falls. So we'll uh, feel we invite you now to make your guesses in the chat of how many Fergus bucks were spent. So how much money went out into the community and stayed with our chamber members um, in 2022? So those guesses are starting to roll in. And um, wow, yeah, we will, our, the, the person who guesses within $5,000 of that, either high or low, we're not gonna play the prices right, but. Uh, yeah, we've got, uh, oh, I think we've got, oh, I did we get a winner in there? All right. Is that Greg Collins is our winner. So congratulations, Greg. We will mail you $20 in Fergus Bucks that you can spend at any one of our 350 members. Well, I want to thank everyone for uh, coming to Virtual Chamber Cafe with us this morning. We'll do this again on the second Thursday of March. Again, thanks everyone for tuning in. Hope you got some great valuable information and uh, we hope everyone has a fantastic day. Thanks everybody. Bye-bye.